Hey, my loves. Hey, my spiritually savage family. How we doing today? I'm sending you love, strength, peace of mind. And if no one told you today, I love you. And you are loved and supported, no matter what you may be feeling. Just remember, as I minister to you, I am minister to myself. So I'm sitting out here and, you know, getting my thoughts together for the day. Processing emotions and stuff, you know. And one of the things I struggle with, which you may struggle with as well, if you are like me, is that you care so much. And I know that sounds like a cliche, but you care so much at the expense of yourself. And you have a soft spot for children. Children are your soft spot. But you must also look at children as part of your spiritual journey as well. What resides in meat suits of children is not always positive. It's not. And so if you are in a situation where you are being gang stalked and meaning you got several different people coming at you, lying on your name, lying to you, lying on you, trying to stop your blessings, non-supportive, um, what else can I think of? Anything that's blocking you from achieving your highest potential or moving onward with your life. If you have people like that in your life, and some of them are children. You must treat them with respect and love, but you must also look at them as if they are a part of your spiritual journey, meaning are they also blocking you? Because you are giving and caring, but they are under the tutelage of others. And so no matter how much you pour into them, right, I won't say that it's pouring into an empty vessel because I always believe children are the future and that they're worth guiding and talking to. But you must also remember the spirits that you are dealing with on the inside of everyone and everything. Anything that's made up of energy has a spirit attached to it. Who made it? Who cultivated it? Who drew it? Who gave it to you? You know, I never gave those things into consideration, but I, I am now. Through trial and error, or I'll say trial and lessons, because, you know, I used to think mistakes were, ugh, just not supposed to happen, or failure. But now I understand failure is a part of the process, so now I welcome failure. It gives me an opportunity to feel what I'm feeling when I fail at something. Because I'm not accustomed to it. And if you're anything like me, you're not accustomed to it. But lately you have been, or in your past you have been. That's because somebody was trying to block you, darling. But it's okay. But this word is specifically for the young ones. Never stop loving. Never stop opening your heart. But be mindful because there are spirits that inhabit children as well. Yeah, there are. And they may be a part of your karmic lesson. And if so, it's going to hurt. It's going to hurt. No denying that. But you're strong enough to do what God is asking you to do. You are. You can do it. Whatever. I don't know. I know what he asked me to do. And that's between me and God. God and I for all you English majors. But whatever God is asking you to do, whatever your intuition is telling you to do, whatever niggling, whatever inkling, Whatever inspiration you are getting, 
that is divinely guided and it may be to remove yourself from situations that no longer serve you i.e. could be your job i.e. it could be your family it could be your friends it could be that's not to say that y'all won't reconnect but that is to say for this part of your journey there are people that cannot go with you Think of it with the story of, um, who is it? Is it Salt? I can't think of it right now. But I remember when he tried to bring his wife and his kids, and she looked back and turned into a pillar of salt. Lot and his wife, that's what it was. I said Salt like I was thinking of the movie. Mm, okay. There is a movie called Salt. I don't know. That may resonate with somebody. I don't know why I was thinking about that. And I knew his name was Lot. But I was thinking of what happened to her. She turned into a pillar of salt because she wasn't meant to go with him. Who's to say what would have happened to her had he just said, Hey, babe, look, God got me doing something real quick. I'll be back. I know. I don't want to be apart from you either. But we got to go. Now I got to go. Stay here. Man the fort. What if she would have stayed? God would have protected her, I'm assuming. I don't know. But we never know because he and she were both disobedient. And when we are disobedient to God's will, things will happen to bring us back on track. Not good or bad, just back on track. We may perceive them to be bad, as I have. I did. I thought they were bad my whole life because I thought if I did the right things and said the right things, things wouldn't happen. But that's not the case. Okay? And that's okay. Because through adversity, through challenges, we learn about ourselves. I didn't know that. I'm learning. So as I come to these understandings, revelations, epiphanies, downloads... I'll share them. Because my whole life I just wanted people not to go through unnecessary drama, pain, hurt, frustration, disappointment. So anything that I learn, I will definitely share. So yeah, that was just a quick message. I'm going to get back to my meditation. and getting my day set started right. Today is one of my baby brother's birthday. Happy blessed day. Cash money money. <laughs> Love you bro ham. Namaste. I say. I say. Mazel tov. Namaste. Amen. Hallelujah. Have a good day on purpose, loves. If you can, have an awesome day. If you're feeling down in the dumps, hopefully I brought a smile to your face. If I didn't bring a smile to your face, hopefully I brought some understanding and clarity to what you're going through in your mind. And giving you a little bit of hope. See, from whence I came to seeing me now, that should give you hope, no matter how old you are. Because I'm 45 and I'm striving and I'm staying alive against all odds. Because I'm divinely guided, divinely protected. Yeah. And divinely inspired. No matter what your struggles are, I'm still struggling to understand that. I understand. Please understand. God called me to start talking before I was completely healed. That was not my plan, but that was his plan. So, here I am. I'm still struggling. I'm still struggling being vegan. I'm still struggling with emotions. I'm still struggling, you know, with... 
a lot of things. And it's okay to struggle just as long as you get up every day. Even if you take a nap, get up after your nap. I take naps on purpose sometimes, especially when things can be so overwhelming. I take a nap. Granted, in every situation, we will not be guaranteed the luxury to take a nap. <laughs> and I am fully aware of that. So I take advantage of it now. So if that time comes where I am unable to take a nap, I understand what needs to be done. So if you're feeling a lot of pressure, if you're feeling way down, if you can't afford to, take a nap. Take a nap. Things always look a little better, feel better. Even if you wake up and you still feel a little bit down, you will feel a little better because you got rest. Our bodies, our mind, our heart needs rest. We need solitude in order to heal. So even if you took a quick nap and it feels like you haven't healed nothing because you wake up and you're still frustrated, you're still crying, you're still mad, you're still irritated, you're still in the same situation, it is okay. It may seem insignificant to you, but that little rest did your mind some wonders. It did some clarity. It allowed your spirit to speak to God without your mind interrupting. It did. It did. You may not feel it right now, but you will. A thought will come. An idea will come. A person will come. That's God leading you to where you need to be. Just be mindful of who you deal with. Everybody. In my head, I'm saying suspect. And that's not the word I want to use, but that's the word that popped in my head was suspect. And I guess that's an accurate assessment given what I've just experienced with everyone. I mean everyone. 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 In my life. So. I know it's difficult. It is. It's difficult for me too. Especially if it's those that you love and care for and you have been doing so your whole life. But whatever God is asking you to do, understand he's doing it for a reason. He's doing it for a reason. It's not just you. It's not just you. I know you're thinking about how you feel, what you're thinking, what your life is going to be like. But understand that we are part of a bigger picture. And that is the understanding that I'm coming to now. Yeah, my life is this, is that, is that. But I am part of a bigger plan. I don't even know what that is yet. But I'm learning to live between effort and surrender. My effort is me continue to grow, me continue to learn, me continue to live throughout my heart space, me continue to forgive those and to see them with spirit eyes and to understand that they are fighting a battle that they do not even understand themselves. I am blessed and cursed to understand the duality of this 3D and our spiritual life, which is also 5 and 6D. I see beyond the veil. I do. Always have, but they were lost for a minute. Yours may have been lost for a minute too and now they're coming back and you're feeling crazy. Don't worry. You got this. Sit down. Sit with them. Sit with whatever you're feeling. Right now, I am sitting here but I can honestly tell you that my heart is pounding fast. It feels like it's beating out of my chest but I know that's just energy. It's not mine. I don't know whose I'm picking up on, but it's not mine. Because at this point, in this, I am literally content. I'm into strategizing right now. I'm not worried. I can be anxious a little bit. Then I come back to center and I remember who I am. But most importantly, I remember who God is and who he said I am and what he will do for me because of who I am. So, remember who you are. 
And if you haven't quite figured it out yet, it's coming. I promise it's coming. But if you're anything like me, patience is not your fortitude. It's not your forte. It's not. I said fortitude. That means strong. You got this, darling. The spiritual path is a long journey. I know. Only long in the 3D, darling. And it only feels that way because you're being isolated. You're being separated for a reason. Not for punishment. That's how I looked at it. I'm now coming to the understanding that it is not for punishment. It is for a reason. For a purpose. And I trust that whatever God has me going towards... That anything and everything will be taken care of. That's it. I rely on God. And you're coming to that understanding that you need to do that as well. Especially if you are surrounded by people that are unsupportive. Baby, the only person you can depend on is God. He's real. I promise. He's real. Sit still. Listen. Listen with your heart, not with your mind. Get out of your mind. Your mind is going to lead you down a path of anxiety, of anger, of fear. Until you learn to control and understand that those types of thoughts are not your thoughts. Right now, you're going through the process of separating your thoughts from who you are and those that are being projected onto you. Yeah. You are not who they say you are, darling. You are who God says you are. I love you. You got this. I know it's hard. I do. But you got this, my love. Namaste.